Hey, how's it going guys? In today's video, I want to discuss about the Royal Cannabis financial statements 3 and 6 months ending December 31st, 2017 in Canadian dollars, of course, because Aurora is a Canadian company. Oh, uh, I forgot to mention, I'm also going, uh, Aurora is releasing a report on May 21st, 2018. And I will also put my predictions of what I believe will happen in the next report. So the current report, the, the one, the latest one before the next one, they have $350 million in cash. They, you have to realize that they spent at least $100 million on Canamed. I'm not 100% on positive on the numbers, but somewhere around $100 million for Canamed. And then they spent $55 million on Tea God, the Green Organic Dutchman. And then they spent another $103 million on liquor stores. And then I'm sure they probably spent more money so than that. So it's over $250 million they already spent on that. But you have to remember that they just raised $240 million in cash using the stocks. So this could this cash asset could go to roughly $300 million, maybe $250 million, I'm not sure, I'm, I'm, at least $300 million, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure at least $300, $300 million, so we'll see uh, if I'm right or wrong on that uh, when the report comes out on May 21st. And then for the total asset, they have about $732 million in asset. My prediction is when this report comes out it's going to be closer to a billion dollars in total asset but let's let's see if I'm right or wrong on this when it, the report comes out and for the liabilities um, I uh, it's pretty high 176 million dollars oh yeah let, I forgot to mention a, a canopy's asset is a billion dollars right now so it's $300 million above Aurora, but uh, Aurora is catching up and uh, when they acquire Canamed, they, this, their total asset might be ahead of Canopy, but we'll see, we'll, we will see what, what happens. Uh, the total liability is pretty bad compared to Canopy, they, Canopy has $75 million and they have $176 million, so that's not good, but uh, at the end of the day, uh, you look at other companies they have like billions and billions of dollars in liability if you look at like Apple they have like 20 plus billion dollars in liabilities so like you can't really account this in as long as they can pay off all the the like debt and everything this liability shouldn't be a problem it will increase next quarter I believe to maybe 200 million dollars because Aurora is trying to aggressively grow and this this is also going to grow the liabilities at least that's what I believe if you want me to discuss further on what uh, make make a dedicated video on liabilities and why what it means um, please let me know in the comments below uh, but uh, the liability is not too bad that's my that's why I think Okay, for their for their revenue, they have eleven point seven million dollars in revenue, and this is coming from one facility and twenty thousand patients. And Canopy has uh, Canopy has twenty million dollars, and they have eighty plus thousand patients. So Aurora is doing really good, considering that they only have twenty thousand patients. Uh, the expenses and uh, this is a little interesting um, It's similar to canopy how it increased like three times compared to last year and Market sales and marketing increased two times compared to last year. It's the same. It's almost the same thing as canopy uh, And then the share based payments I believe that this is also like I think management is paying themselves just like Canopy. I also looked into Merican, and I saw that Merican had a similar share thing, 
share based payment thing uh, so similar to Canopy maybe all the cannabis companies are doing it I'm not too sure because I haven't really looked into the other cannabis companies but uh, I, I noticed that uh, they are paying themselves so I don't know it's uh, but investors are still investing so they did make a profit uh, so comp I'm not like I'm not too sure how they made a profit. This unrealized gains really helped it helped them, and I'm not sure where this money came from. Maybe it's in the report somewhere, but I already read for this report and I couldn't find anything. But uh, they they did make a profit compared to uh, compared to Canopy. If you guys figure it out, please let me know in the comments below. Um, okay, so the next thing I want to go to is. The active register patients was twenty, almost twenty two thousand. So, like, I think this should increase to maybe. So, like, compared to last quarter, it increased about two thousand, two thousand patients in the, in about two months. No wait, is it two thousand? One thousand, two thousand, about twenty five hundred patients. Two thousand five hundred patients in a 12% increase so I'm predicting probably 24,000 pa re registered patients for the next uh, quarter they sold 1.61 million grams but you have to remember that they just got you know, they basically sold as much grams as they produced so that's that's really good and then you gotta remember that the next uh, the next Report will include uh, the La Chute facility in Quebec. So no, Aurora V, Aurora V. Uh, yeah. So this this will increase. At least this is why I believe. And then the revenue should also increase a little bit too, like to fifty million dollars, I believe. I'm guessing. I'm, I'm just guessing. Uh, this is my prediction. A, a fifty mil, around fifty million dollars, maybe forty million dollars. Uh, forty million dollars. I say forty million dollars for the next revenue. The cost per gram is probably gonna go down to a little bit, like probably another fifty cents, a dollar fifty six, dollar fifty. And the cost to produce a, a gram is probably gonna go down too. Um, the cash and equivalent should be around three hundred million dollars. I've already said that below, so it's going to be a decrease because they had spent quite a bit of money on uh, some acquisitions. But uh, here's something interesting: the dry cannabis sold in Canada was twenty three point nine percent from Q one, so that's twenty three point nine percent increase. But here's the interesting thing. The dry cannabis sold in Germany is two point five million dollars, up one hundred and one percent from the thing. I'm hoping that this goes to four million dollars. I I think it will. I think uh, because, like, according to Cam Batley, the German market is growing very fast. So this should increase at least a million, maybe one point five million dollars for the next quarter. And the service revenue, uh, service and other revenue, I believe might stay the same, but I could be wrong. We'll, we'll, we'll see. Uh, and then the next thing I want to point out is, like, if you compare it to, to this thing and how they made the money, um, they only sold one million grams of cannabis when. The worst guy comes up, they're gonna be producing 10 million grams per month. So that's 30 million grams. If they manage to sell 30 million grams, their revenue should just like skyrocket, like just skyrocket, like like massively. So, and I, I'm pretty confident management can sell everything they produce. At least for the worst guy, I don't know about like when they add in the new facilities, but. Uh, Aurora Sky should be able to just sell out everything they produce. 
Um, so yeah, this is uh, this is interesting. I, I'm hoping that uh, and that oils increase in price. So I think next quarter might about the same for oil. I I've been rambling on way too long. Oh, it's already a 10 minute video. Okay, so the last thing I want to talk about is the medical resources address massive markets. So basically, with Aurora and Canamed, they managed to get 45,000 uh, as of March 2018. So since they released their report around May, I'm hoping the registered patient will increase to close to 50,000 patients. And then by, and what I consider patients is like a subscriber. Like it's guaranteed money because these guys will are dedicated pot smokers and they will basically keep buying products from the uh, from the manufacturer so res patients are very very important to Aurora's strategy and this is a big big reason why they acquire Canamed with Canamed they can almost get 5,000 patients per quarter and they have over 5,000 physicians to accelerate patient registration with the acquire, once they acquire Canamed, which is a huge deal. And, uh, it, 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 yeah, um, Canopy, yeah, everybody's trying to get medical patients, and medical patients is, uh, is a good factor to growth. I think so. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching this long video of me rambling at near the end. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you dislike this video, please give me a thumbs down. Subscribe for future updates. Bye and thanks for watching.